Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing good today. I want to come on here and talk about a trending topic that's been discussed now the past 48 hours. A lot of people are really divided on where fashion is going, particularly Balenciaga. So once again, if you guys do not know, Demna Gavasali, who is the creative director for Balenciaga, he's been doing his thing for years. He's once again causing controversy. OK, so let, let me take you all back a few months, right? So a few months ago, I had posted a video of the Adidas Balenciaga collaboration, but I had used Candy's song. Legs and hips and body, body. Let's get them, girls. And I was using it to show these extremely skinny women walking down the runway. And they have on these latex masks and, you know, ponytails. It was like the weirdest fashion show. A lot of people were really creeped out by it. It looked very apocalyptic. So for y'all who don't know the backstory to that, Balenciaga basically occupied Wall Street. Yes, okay? Remember the whole Occupy Wall Street movement back in the day when people were literally protesting outside in Zuccotti Park? <laughs> In the shadows of the financial crisis, between the skyscrapers of Lower Manhattan, Occupy Wall Street began. Triggered by a single tweet, September 17th, Wall Street, bring 10. He decided to occupy Wall Street, but not really in a form of protest, in a form of runway. Now, no one has been able to go to the floor of the New York Stock Exchange since 2001. After 9-11, they stopped it. They would not allow the public, you know, access to go inside that building because that is America's financial hub. Well, Balenciaga has not done anything um, in America since 2003 concerning Fashion Week. But this time he had decided to come to America and do the fashion show at the New York Stock Exchange. He even invited everybody by, you know, running money through a counter and inviting his celebrity friends. Let's put it in and join. Oh, that's such a fun. So this um, whole runway show, you know, it, it went viral all over social media. We know that is what Demna is about. He's definitely about a good viral moment. So that's what went down in May 2022. But before then, in March, he had a winter show. And in that winter show, it was basically meant to look like these uh, models were in a snow globe. So this was their autumn winter collection. And this came out in March 2022. And this was to talk about the climate crisis. One thing about Demna is that he tends to jump on a lot of social issues. So these models were basically representing the climate crisis. It was an ode to Ukraine. The Ukrainian flag were placed on each seat. And these models were walking around in like a huge snow globe. It was really creepy. It reminded me like the day after tomorrow. And one of the things that people notice is that a lot of the models, you know, looked homeless and they were walking around with trash bags. And so it was very telling with the what he was trying to invoke. If we keep messing with the weather and climate change, you know, we may be homeless on Earth. We may not have nowhere to go but our bags, but our belongings, because, you know, the weather can get so out of control. In the wintertime, it's getting colder and colder. So he was hitting on this through fashion. And so people were really talking about these trash bags. Well, come to find out, Demna released the trash bags yesterday on my birthday, okay? Leo season, gang, gang. <laughs> and um, it is causing so much controversy because not only did he release these trash bags, but these trash bags are going for over $1,700. They are leather trash bags. I have posted about this yesterday on Instagram. So basically yesterday, Balenciaga announced that the feature in the winter 2022 collection, um, it's out. It's called the Trash pouch okay and it's $1,790 they come in blue white and black 
And then the the little drawstring, <laughs> those colors come in black, red, or white. So when Demna was asked about this, you know, like, why are you selling trash bags? He says, I couldn't miss an opportunity to make the most expensive trash bag in the world because who doesn't love a fashion scandal? So that's what he thinks about the trash bag. So he definitely knows what he's doing. And people have taken to social media. They are going off concerning these Balenciaga trash bags. So a lot of people are really mixed about this. Um, some people are saying that Balenciaga needs to be jailed immediately for designing bullshit trash bags and selling them for $1,800. Um, somebody says, if I see a mother effer with a tra- with a Balenciaga trash bag, I'm a sack them. Um, other people are saying that they love it. They think it's really dope. So right now, social media is really divided on this. And people feel like, you know what? This is like too much at this point. Y'all are just putting your label on anything and calling it fashion and making it overpriced. Like we literally have hefty bags in our, in our pantry that we could walk around and, you know, stunt in for three dollars. Like what, what do we do? Like why would we pay 17 something for this? But again, this is not the first time that Demna and Balenciaga have done this. If you guys remember, they went viral in May for these extremely worn shoes. These were some of the most hideous, disgust. I wouldn't touch these dirty looking sneakers with a 10 foot pole. Okay. But they were selling these heavily used homeless looking sneakers for $625. So that caused a lot of controversy. And, you know, I've never understood like the extremely distressed sneaker look. I know off white was really big about that, but if I'm going to pay money for destroyed shoes, these shoes look like they cost no more than $5. I'm not going to pay several hundred dollars for shoes that look like a dog ate them or that they got into a, a into a cat fight with a, with a garbage disposal. Like I'm not doing that. I'm not paying 625 for these. But of course, you know, somebody will, you know, and a lot of people bought them, they sold out. And you know, people who are really into fashion tend to like things like this and I get that. And if you have the money to splurge on yourself and buy yourself something I'm not going to say that these shoes are nice, but you know what I'm saying? Buy yourself something in fashion. Of course, that is your business. But me personally, these shoes look disgusting. My toes curl up when I look at these shoes. Like my toes are like, ew, they look dirty. I don't want to wear those. You know, so he caused controversy with these shoes, but they did sell out. And now once again, he's causing controversy with his trash bags. And a lot of people really feel away. Now, I will say this. They're definitely not the first to do this. I don't necessarily feel like fashion is falling off because you'll always have high-end fashion. You'll always have these fashion shows. They've been around, you know, for eons now. But I do feel like a lot of the new fashion houses, they're definitely seeking attention. They're definitely trying to tie into the whole social media culture. And I feel like a lot of people are not buying as much high-end stuff as they used to. Maybe part of that is the economy, you know, just crazy things that have been going on for the past two years. You know, people are trying to be more, you know, I don't know. People are trying to be more cautious of how they spend their money. So now you see a lot of these super high end um, designers collaborating with, you know, more regular designers like Adidas, you know, Balenciaga and Adidas. You even see designers like Balenciaga and Gucci who never would even really associate with each other. I mean, they might party together, but now they're doing collaborations. Now you can get a Balenciaga bag with the Gucci print. So you're seeing them trying to collab and do new things to garner attention and to go viral. But again, like I said, Demna is not the first to do this. We can go back to Supreme. Supreme was notorious for this shit. You know, they literally put their logo on a brick, a $30 brick. And that brick ended up reselling for thousands of dollars on the internet. They have put their logo on Oreo cookies that ended up selling for hundreds of dollars. So Supreme is notorious for just slapping their logo on anything. And the reason why they do it is because a lot of people are like sheeps. No offense, but if something is deemed as popular or exclusive or limited, it's like people want it even more. So they definitely know what they're doing. It's no different than Yeezys. It's no different than Jordan. You know, when he would drop his shoes, he'd only put out so many and people would just, it would cause chaos. But I remember even like back in 2017, um, duct tape was a thing on the runway. You know, you had designers, um, putting duct tape on their clothing and selling the clothing for thousands of dollars. There was even a time when Prada 
was selling $185 paper clips. And their whole thing is, yeah, it's $185, but it's to hold your money. And people were like, well, for $185, that's a lot of damn money for a paper clip. By the time I buy it, I won't have no money to even put in the damn paper clip. So that product situation pissed off a lot of people. And what was funny is that same year, Balenciaga basically took an Ikea bag. You know those blue Ikea bags when you go into Ikea? They took those bags and they basically made a replica of them and put them on the runway and sold those bags for $2,145. So to see them on the runway for thousands of dollars was just weird to me. So it's almost like the creativity is dying for some of these designers and they're jumping on regular items that everyday people use and they're stamping their logo on there and then charging three times as much. So that is definitely bothering people. But I also feel like one thing about Demna is that his runway shows tell a story and he does do a lot of things to raise awareness. Um, you know, he's hit on, you know, the financial crisis. He's hit on global warming. Even in 2020, he had a very apocalyptic show where it looked like the world was on fire. I mean, it was, his shows were just, they're insane. <laughs> When you look at them, he's even had shows where he used AI technology where when you're watching this show, you think it's a legitimate show in Paris and you think these are real people. Well, the entire show was deep fake. It was all AI. The people, most of the models were cloned. They had deep fake faces on them. And the people who were there engaging, they were all deep fake. Voilà le portrait sans retouche de l'homme auquel j'appartiens. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, qu'il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. So he's really tapped into a lot of interesting things. I always feel like when Demna drops something, I don't know. I feel like not only does it tell a story, but maybe it's a peek into the future, you know, and that's the part that can be kind of chilling because, like I said, a lot of his stuff is very apocalyptic. Now, another thing I find very interesting with the fashion industry is that the other day, um, President Zelensky of Ukraine, he got a lot of backlash because him and his wife decided to do an entire Vogue photo shoot. Yes, Vogue reached out to them and they did a whole photo shoot basically showing like, you know, different war torn areas in Ukraine. And people were really disgusted by this. They're like, okay, this lady's sitting here in like a $5,000 jacket in front of a bunch of rubble and soldiers behind her protecting her. But what about the people who are in Ukraine who are dying behind this war that's been going on for months now? It's just not a good look in my personal opinion. You know, he's supposed to be the president and it just seems very staged and weird. Like, why is that where your mind is at? Why are you and your, and your wife, why is your mind on doing a photo shoot for Vogue? It just doesn't make sense. And I feel like a lot of these um, fashion magazines, fashion houses, they're jumping on things, again, to go viral. They're, they're jumping on things for controversy. You know, and I get talking about the war and bringing attention to it, but did you need to do a whole photo shoot spread? I just find that very, I don't know. It, it just, 
to me, it didn't sit well with me, especially when people are dying over there. People are really going through it, and you and your wife are protected in a bunker and have the time to come out of your bunker to do a photo shoot. Now, another thing, if you guys do not know, this was announced as of yesterday that President Zelensky also tapped Demna on the shoulder to raise funds for Ukraine. So basically what Demna has done, he's created a new T-shirt. Um, it's Ukraine, you know, slash Balenciaga. And there's a QR code on there. And then on the front, it has a Ukrainian flag and a Ukrainian and a Ukrainian slogan. Um, I don't know what it means. I don't speak Ukrainian. So if one of my Ukrainian subscribers could let us know what that means, I would love you for life. OK, so they're collaborating and the Ukrainian government posted this on Twitter on July 28th. All of the money, you know, raised from this T-shirt sale is going to be going towards Ukraine. Like I said, Balenciaga definitely has their hand in a lot of stuff. The shirt is going for $200, um, and they're going to start shipping it on August 26th. So not only is he doing this shirt for charity that I'm sure will definitely sell out, but he's also selling these trash bags. And a few months ago, he was selling those trash-ass shoes, okay? So like I said, the fashion world is definitely interesting. They're definitely doing things to go viral. They're definitely doing things to garner attention and to get people talking. So I'm definitely not surprised. So on that note, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. How do you guys feel about these fashion houses trying to make, you know, trying to do like this homeless chic type rendition i think it's weird i wouldn't personally spend that much money on a leather trash bag that's just not my style but you know to each its own but i do feel like it will sell out so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know your thoughts on all of this controversy that's going on currently on twitter with demna's you know balenciaga trash bag selling for seventeen hundred dollars are you down to buy one what do you guys think about the future of fashion where it's going what do you guys think about his runway shows let me know your thoughts on the trash bag, them trashy ass shoes, and you know, the things that designers are doing to garner attention from the public. So make sure you like the video, don't forget to share it, and most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to this channel in the event you've been unsubscribed. So I'll talk to you later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.